How about your stand on Common Core? Yeah, I'm not a fan of Common Core at all for a thousand reasons. Educationally, I think it, it undermines what it is that a good education should provide. You know, this, this idea of things being equivocal that three times four could equal 11 as long as you feel good about how you got the answer and can explain it. I mean, I don't want the person who is able to justify how three times four equals 11 designing the bridge that I'm going to drive across or the elevator that I'm going to go up to the 30th floor on or the plane that I'm going to take off and land in. So educationally, I have a problem. I think it's an incredible encroachment on our Fourth Amendment rights. I really do. I mean, the invasion of privacy, the intrusiveness into the child's privacy and that of that child's family, I think at a thousand levels, it's not something that we should be embracing. So I'm, I know a lot of people who are, don't know anything about Common Core, and they're, they're, it's really hard to get them on the bandwagon of understanding what it's all about when you tell them it's like, you know, what it's based on and stuff. Yeah. They like, you know, the black helicopters are flying stuff. How do you think we should approach and get this message out to I people? just encourage people to look at the actual Common Core lesson plans. Look at them and make a thoughtful decision. I think any person who is educated, who cares about education, who's worried about future generations being educated, could take a look at these lesson plans and make informed and thoughtful decisions for themselves. The truth is cathartic. The truth is like fresh sunlight into a situation. It's, it's sanitizing. And I think the best way to expose it is for people to understand what it actually is. Okay. How do you define the American dream? You know, the American dream is the ability for people to pursue their God-given ability we have certain inalienable rights that have been endowed by our Creator. They weren't given to us by government. You know, they were life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. These were endowed by our Creator. There are other rights that we have that have been codified by the Constitution. The pursuit of these, the opportunity to have equal opportunity and not equal outcome, that is the American dream. To be protected from tyranny, to be protected from all enemies, foreign and domestic. These are the things that are the American dream. The opportunity to come from nothing, to work hard, to pay your dues. These are the kind of things, and to make your way. I'm the embodiment of the American dream. I'm, I'm fortunate, I grew up poor in the country, and I've been the CEO of a, of, a, of a large investment management firm. I'm very blessed in my life, I really am. And I want that opportunity for my children and the people to follow. Because if we don't preserve that for them, if we don't preserve what those that came before us preserved for us, shame on us. Shame on us. Thank you.